Hello YouTube, welcome to my next project. Be ready for a disclaimer. We're gonna make a little hobo stove out of this empty one pound canister. I like these better than the skinny ones because you get them for like five bucks a piece at the store. I gotta pay eight to ten dollars for the little skinny one like the plumber uses. Okay, this is really simple. I use the plastic ruler. Uh, find you whatever bit fits in here. You see that? Find whatever fits in there. This is simple. I did this on the big barbecue tanks. Don't fumble here on camera. Okay, and I just got my patented scratch all. Everything tool, scriber, poker. If you don't know where this came from, and I put this grip on her because I like it. My hands get greasy. So I scraped around it. I want to roll that edge in and do some tin work. I don't know if I can use my desk or not, but excuse the fan. Now here's your disclaimer. If you do not know how to safely diffuse these things so they're not a bomb, then do not do this. I may put it in the description. I've done this enough and on big ones I know what I'm doing. I think. Don't believe people when they say, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Beware. Get 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 back. <laughs> Jump back. Anyway. Okay, we'll cut this off. We don't know if we're gonna use a bag grinder cutter blade or a dremel. You know when you use a dremel you're gonna be busting blades. But I really don't feel like taking a big grinder to this thing. I mean it's really awful hard to fit this in a vice or something. So We'll find out. We'll see how easy it is to cut with uh, Dremel. So stay tuned. We'll be back and then we'll show you. It's going to be hard to show you the tin work, but we'll show you the basics how we're going to hammer and roll it in. There, you had your disclaimer. That's just an old plastic ruler. And I, if you can kind of see how far I want to roll it in. See where it starts getting straight. I want about a quarter inch folded in. I want this to be heavy duty. I want it to be better than a tin can. So stay tuned. Let's talk more work. Okay, free ham without a tripod. We went through four of these. But we just kept making a groove around until we finally started getting through. Then we switched to one of these. These aren't very good at cutting a hole into it, but once there's a slot, they don't work too bad. And I've had these diamond ones with holes in them. They're more flimsy. These are better. Throw some water in there. It gives you a hint. I had water in this once. Leave like four tabs around here, you know, where you don't cut all the way through. But that's why this was the last one, see. That way it doesn't get all catchy in there. There you go. I'm doing this so you don't have to. That's your little valve. I don't know if it pulls up. Yes. Oh, I know it pulls up, but yeah, watch. See that? So I don't want to show anybody how to do it. This is at your own rest. You're going to cut a propane tank open. This is a lot better still than a tin can. Okay, now comes the art of rolling this in. So, we're in person. Time there doing that. And sorry about the fan, I always say that. Well, one of my videos I made, it was terrible. I forgot about it because I have the fan on me. Uh, I'm learning though when I go to film video just to turn it away. So you might hear it in the background. Okay, let's get back to work. Let's we'll start forming this edge. It's kind of hard to show you that film. You just tap it with a hammer with whatever hammers. I got a video on doing tin cans until you finally rolled over. I'll bring you back for a couple little quick, you know, what it looks like as I do each step. I can't, I can't really put you on the tripod and show you doing it. It's just too much for me. I think I'm about right. We'll find out. Okay, you see where I messed up? Hit it too, too far down in here. Be careful, this thing will get out around. Now this hammer is too heavy. Too heavy, too handle, too heavy. This hammer is lighter, but you can't swing out here. I kind of have it like this when I'm balanced. I'm more or less just dropping the hammer. 
If my arm will wear out, I, I ain't going to get out here and swing this hammer all day on a piece of tits. I'm going to get up and just let it drop. And we got our old baseball tack hammer that we've done this with. We plan on finishing it with this hammer. We may just tip this way, so when we get down in there, we will show you that when the time comes. I said, don't overwork yourself. Don't sit there and pound like a spastic woodpecker. I don't know how to... You see, I went too far. You mess this up, it's not going to be around. You see where I'm starting to roll this in? This is not as hard a metal as you think it is. It's just a heavy tin can is all this is. But it's a pretty tough, tougher than tin. Okay, back to work. Okay, we even we switched hammers there eventually. And we'll tell you, we'll show you why. Uh, use this for demonstration. Remember, you're hitting in. You're not hitting down. Once you're convinced that you've got this rolled over enough, that that's where you want, and where I messed up, it's probably going to come back and haunt me. Then I got a little more aggressive with this hammer. This is a very light handle hammer. And I'm starting to come in hitting more down. Because we're going to flatten it. And then we're going to go in. So, remember, you're hitting in. Right? To get it to go over. And you can use this in some spots. Like this end. If it's a little rippled like over here. Don't be afraid to go along with the little one. Kind of. Like, see where that's kind of stuck up a little right here? Don't, don't be afraid to go over there and... It's hard to do, but I'm on a metal plate, see, even though I'm on a table, it's almost a must, or you will not have no power with your hitting. This is too springy, spongy. You want this on a piece of steel, even on a wooden table. That's just my advice. It's looking pretty good, though, ain't it? Back to work. This is going to be a long video how to do this. Okay, see where that's starting to roll over? We had it flat, finally, the other hammer. We took our ball peen hammer, okay? And we started hitting it. I got too many hammers to grab. We started hitting it like this, so we're banging in. See that, when a hammer goes? Because we're going to round it over. Then we've been touching up with this one by going like this. Because you're going to get all wavy. It's almost a knack. Once you do this, do this. Practice this on a tin can, like the big coffee cans, or you get the big vegetables for the restaurant. Practice by cutting one of them cans in half. I have a video on it. If I can find it, I'll put a link to it, so you can watch me doing the whole process on a tin can. I'll do that in the description. I'll find the video. But this works good for touch up. But this hammer is way too long. And I don't know what to do. I hate to mess with it because I know there's going to be time I want it for doing some kind of tin work on something. But like I said, I try to balance it in my hand. See, I try to get it to where I, I'm just, I'm not swinging way out here. That's ridiculous. Just like this. This, is like, this little ball pin hammer is bigger and heavier than what you think it is. But this hammer is very light. I think I'm going to switch it to do, like I said, with the other one, instead of this one. Because that way I can tune it. This is very light. I like this. This is like three bucks. I have a video on it. This is really lightweight. The head weighs more than the plastic handle. So back to work. We're trying to do our best to show you this without trying to film it while we're working. Otherwise, you're going to just hear me banging on tin. And then you get, you get nervous. Now you're trying to show it on video. You're... You're not working comfortably, because this is a hobby day, even though it's Saturday. I'm, it's getting kind of hot. We're going to quit pretty soon. And, uh, we'll probably be back finishing it tomorrow, rolling it in. So stay tuned. Okay, see how we got it laying down flat? And we're coming to hit like this, and we're using this. Little baby steps. Uh, hold on. Okay, believe it or not, the fan's blown it away. So, ho sorry about the fan noise. That's it. You you could try to do it with a ball peen hammer, but you you want a small contact surface. And this just is not tough enough for this metal. Like I said, 
you're, you're coming here hitting it like this. You're finally starting to knock it and fold it over. See that? I think you can see it there pretty good. See where you're finally folding it over? So practice on a tin can that's lighter because this is a lot more work. So I get the fans in there. I got to have my fan. Okay, this is just what works for me. I got this up against the vise. I got a rag over here, so I lay my arm across here. And the rag fell down. And I'm coming in here. I've got this almost even. Because when I hit it, you don't want the metal. I want the hammer to clear down there. See, down here, I want it to clear. I don't want to be hitting the table. And this piece just ain't big enough. So I'm on a 6x6 six six square. And just start hammering it over. You're doing a little at a time, like one width of this, whatever this is. You're just going on tap, 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 tap. And you're turning it. That's that one I told, I told you probably haunt me. Because I messed up. Flip it this way so you can see better. See that? Get my fingers on it so you can see it. There, see it's finally folding over. And don't worry if it ain't perfect. It's just going to be a little hobo stone. There you go. Back to work again. Okay, being this is such tough metal, I did switch to this ball peen hammer, and I'm really whomping it because I've got it squared over, but just don't smush it too much. You're not trying to smush this, that's your rolled edge. You don't want to hit there. You If you want to hit anywhere you want to hit, just half with the hammer. That's why ball peen hammers around it. You want to hit like this, so you're hitting just that little bitty. That'll do it for you. You're just hitting half this. You're hitting this edge right out here to roll over. And don't dent this. But if you practice this, you'll get good at it. Anybody can be a tinsmith. It's that nice roll edge. That's what we're after. We want to look professional. See? When we're done with our little whole old stove with the holes in it, you be like, wow. See, that's what we want. You're going to have a few dents and defects, but it doesn't matter. And it won't be sharp. You won't be able to cut yourself, see? And that's another thing. You might want to stick your hand down here or something. You don't want to file this. File, I should have said that before. File this before you ever start rolling this over. As soon as you're done cutting this out, file it smooth. Sandpaper file. Back to work. I want to go take a break. It's getting hot out here. I'm starting to suffer. And there you have it. There's your rolled edge. If I kept trying to get this to go all the way flat against there... You're going to start, you know, we'll see it. You're going to start messing this up. And you're going to make this have a weird shape to it. You're going to start hammering in. You're going to make this kind of dimpled and, and weird looking. Remember, this is just for strength and safety. So, if you would have squeezed, if I would have squeezed this, I could squeeze this before. We all know what it does when you fold tin over. There. That's a nice container. Survival situation, I suppose. You could cook in this thing if you cleaned it out. And you're out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, it's got this extra tin piece on the bottom because we all know how they're shaped. They're, some of these have, uh, so they used to have like four legs on them. See how it's domed in there? This is concave. That's convex as it comes out. So it's almost shaped like that piece of tin right there on the bottom. And no, I'm not trying to get this dent out. No. That way you know it's mine if somebody steals it. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll try to give you plenty of pictures. And sorry I couldn't show it in action, me pounding. I will look for that video and put a link to it when I did the tin can project. This will be part one of making this little hobo stove. We're out of here. We're going back to air conditioning.